So greetings from Gettysburg once again here in Pennsylvania. We just got done talking a little bit about Little Round Top, some hauntings and history there, but now we're gonna do a little bit of hiking. I'm trying to hike to the top of what's called Big Round Top. Just gotta figure out where I need to go first. All right, so I'm parked here, what's called Wright Avenue. Naomi's up there, and uh, that is the road up to the Little Round Top, which we were just at. There's a problem with this place. You can see all these do not enter signs. There's a lot of one-way streets here, but we need to go up this way. Yes, I'm walking along what's called Sykes Avenue right now. I was trying to find the other end so I could drive in this way, but couldn't find that. I don't like one-way roads <laughs> too much. Anyway, I left my phone at home, so I was going to look on the, my phone, Google Maps, but couldn't do that. So I, there should be a trailhead up here that goes up to the top of Big Round Top. And if we ever do find the trail and get to the top, I do have channel sticker number 36 with me and mug number three. It's one of the spooky mugs. Like I said, if we ever make it up there, find the trailhead, I'll throw in a place. Uh, channel sticker 36 and mug number three up at the top of Big Round Top, not Little Round Top. And I believe we have found the trail up because there's no sign here that says Big Round Top. I believe this is the spot. And if you come from that way, there is plenty of parking here. So, but it's actually not that far of a walk down to where I did park. So we are headed up. I'm not 100% sure that this is the trail I want, but it seems to be. I think I'll have some a late lunch up here too. Yeah, Little Round Top gets all the tourists, because that's where a lot of the action happened during the Civil War. It was a very strategic pot, strategic section of the, of the battle. Big Round Top, not so much. It was the extreme flank of the Union position, but not a whole lot happened up here. Yeah, Little Round Top has that amazing view over the whole battlefield, which made it a very strategic location. Big Round Top is kind of covered in trees, not as uh, strategic. I guess they could have cut them all down, but that would take a lot of work. I have a family here, kids down there, making their way up here too. It's a beautiful, beautiful day for a hike. It doesn't appear that too many people come up here either. Like I said, Little Round Top was just packed with people. I mean, this is a Tuesday afternoon, and it was still kind of hard to find parking. I've got the Blue Jays screaming at me. You saw the parking lot down there was. Empty, pretty much. So if you're looking for a place to here in Gettysburg to get away from everybody, come to Big Round Top. There's all sorts of other little trails too. We'll stick to the main one. Yeah, even down here in Gettysburg, you're trying to get, you're starting to get just a little bit of fall color change. There's some yellows. But it is still, what is it? today is October 12th. So more color will appear. I think we're too far from the top. I'm pretty sure now this is the trail I want. Well, I'm positive that it is now. It just keeps winding around its way up, 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 up. And I was just about to comment saying that I don't know if there's any actually any Civil War monuments up here, but boom, there is. I can see one up ahead. There's actually one up there on top of that rock, too. Not sure what that one is. Let's quick take a look. Yeah, like I said in a previous video, if you've ever been to Gettysburg, there are monuments everywhere. I'm not sure what this one is. It doesn't really have anything on it that I can see. Maybe something on the other side? Okay. 
fifth PA reserves are up here. Here's a larger one, a couple larger ones here. Major General, Major General John Sedwich. That's a bunch of the generals and erected by surviving members and friends. There's even one down there. Say. Organized at Philadelphia, September 1862. Mustered out of service in 1865. Killed in action of wounds from disease and officers. Oh, let's talk about the, which regiment this was. Yeah, 119th Regiment, Pennsylvania Volunteers. Yeah, this monument marks the extreme left of the Union line during the battle of the third day. That's some other information there you can read. Looks like we've made it roughly to the top. There's some more monuments up there. We'll check out those in a little bit. I'm just gonna keep going this way. Yeah, if there's any place you wanted to be during the battle of Gettysburg, it was probably up here. I don't know that they received a whole lot of action up here. I wonder if we'll get a view over here, actually. Looks like we might. Well, maybe not quite from right here. <clears throat> you know, someone had to haul, haul all this stuff up here for these monuments. That's interesting. Yeah, this is a monument to the Pennsylvania Reserves. Yeah. Another monument to the Pennsylvania Reserves. We mentioned some of the counties they came from. Center, Lancaster County, Huntington, Lycoming counties, Bradford, Union, Clearfield. We were just out in Clearfield County a little while ago. Northumberland counties. Killed and died of wounds. 14 officers. Yeah, he just has a bunch of information for all these folks. Total casualties, 538. Yeah, this spot seems like it would have been fairly quiet during the actual battle. I think the one, the one monument said that they came up here on July 2nd, held it till the end of the battle, this location. They might have had a few skirmishes up here, but like I said, it's relatively quiet as far as action goes. But man, you would have you would hear all the action going down. I mean, that way is the whole battlefield. Just over there's a little round top where, you know, a ton of action went on over there. Just constant fighting, artillery fire, and just all over the battlefield. I mean, it would have been, in some ways, it would have been absolutely amazing to be up here during the battle. I mean, just to, I mean, I'm thinking that they had more of a view back then through some of these trees to what was going on, probably. But yeah, it would have been almost deafening up here. Just see all the, you can see all the smoke from the battle down there. Hear all the the cries of the men, the battle charges, everything up here. Yeah, wow. Be kind of kind of interesting to to be able, be hearing the battle all the time and not actually being part of those major those more major fights out there. All right, but I'm gonna find a place to have a late lunch. I think we got hide that mug and channel sticker too. All right, so I found a great little spot to eat lunch just down from those monuments, but here, here we go. Here we have you know, channel sticker number 36, big round top, and then got the spooky mug. Mug number, mug number three. So I'll probably place it right here, right at lunch. All right, so let me show you where I'm at. Of course, down there is the trail leading back down. Well, that's the way you come up. There's a nice little, what looked like it might be a good overlook at one point. Then you come up this way. Up here are the monuments. There's one right there, and then there's one further back in the woods. But just, just this side of this one right here is another little rocky outcrop. Just up from that one down there. Right here's where I sat and ate lunch. Kind of has like a, you see 
one, two, three rocks. So this is where I eat lunch, and this is where I'm gonna place the mug and channel sticker. So I'm gonna place it down, down, around, down in here. So I'm gonna come down around carefully. And there's a little spot under here, right in there. I'm gonna cover. I'm gonna place it back in there and cover it up with some maybe some rocks and leaves and stuff. So that's where it will be. All right, so I got her tucked back in there. Got a whole bunch of leaf litter. Gonna cover her with. I don't want no one to see it back there, except for the people that know what it is. And I'm gonna put a rock. The vine gets away there. And I'm gonna put a rock over top of it too. That's where she be. So that's where she be down there. Of course, if you are the one that comes looking for it and you find it, as always, if you could share a picture of that with me, that way I can share it in a future video and also lets me know that it has indeed been found. I'm gonna share number 30, channel sticker number 32 with you and mug number two. That's the one I placed at, uh, down Lank over in Lancaster County at Shiprock Woods Nature Preserve. And Mark, Mark got there first. I know a number of people went looking for that sticker and mug. I know someone messaged me, I go, this bug's on me. I know someone mentioned me and said that, I think he met a number, he went looking for it. He met a number of other people that were looking for it too, but Mark got there first. So I'll go ahead and throw his picture up for you. All right then, so I'm gonna start making my way back down the mountain. I have no idea what time it is. Maybe three o'clock, uh, like I said, I left my phone at home. It's one of those things you, you feel kind of, you feel somewhat naked without your phone. If that makes sense in a way. All right, but I might stop at one or two other places here today yet. At least one other place. Beautiful day. And I'll film it a little bit on my way down yet. All right, let's get my backpack going and head back down. All right, so we'll say goodbye to the monuments up there. Head back down the trail. And it's all downhill from here. And like I said earlier, if you're looking for a, a quieter spot to come hike, there's a good location. I mean, Gettysburg does get crowded, to be honest with you. Number of locations, like I mentioned, Little Round Top, Devil's Den, other spots are just, uh, where was I? I was at Culp Sill this morning, which isn't as well known either, but there's a lot of people there too. The only people I saw on this trail was that other, the younger family that came up for a little bit. But I had to place myself all during lunch. Whoops, up here and everything. So yeah, a little bit out of the way, but nice spot to visit here in Gettysburg if you're looking for the quieter spot. Just making my way down the trail, I looked over and I noticed there's like a stone wall. I thought it stopped right here, but it keeps on going. You know, the first thing that run, comes to your mind is like this might be Civil War related, but who knows, maybe it is. Maybe, maybe they put it up as kind of like defense positions against any attack, because that is facing towards the battle. But it could also just be, a, you know, for something else, property line, or who knows what else, because it continues on up that way. I don't know, who knows? Could have been added much later, too. Yeah, definitely much easier going down than coming up, although it's not a steep uphill. Oh, there's a squirrel. At least there's still one critter on this hike. I guess you can see him. Where did he go? Where are you, buddy? I think we lost him. All right. Yeah, in short order, we're down here at the bottom. Quite a few more cars than when we first started out. Of course, this isn't where I park, so. When I get home, I will figure out where, where that road goes. But for now, we need to walk up this way to where I parked. Yes, yeah, so I think I mentioned that, mentioned that early in this video. Gettysburg can be a bit confusing sometimes. Drive around the battlefield, there's a lot of one-way roads. You kind of get to a crossroads, you want to go that way, but it's a one-way road, and you kind of try to figure out how to get to the other end. But that'll be it for this video then. Just got a little ways to walk to where Naomi's waiting for me. 
So yeah, big round top. Never, never been there before. I've been to Gettysburg a number of times. Never hiked up there. Like I said, it's if you're looking for a quieter spot, just to hike, get away from the crowds, that's the place to go. And as always, thanks for coming along, and I'll see you in the next video, which will probably still be here at Gettysburg. I'm gonna film at least one more here today. All right, I'll see you around.